Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to a, another episode of It's a Dire Thing, a super duper episode of It's a Dire Thing. Rob here, <laughs> as I'm uh, just about to throw my uh, hot dogs on the uh, bar on the barbecue here on the electric grill. Uh, just preparing my supper. Said, uh, you know, it's an absolutely beautiful sunny day today. So uh, I said, uh, what best than to do two things actually. First, give the wireless headset that I have, or the wireless microphone that I have here a test, uh, just in regards to seeing how the sound works and stuff like that. But taking advantage of being able to come out here and uh, enjoy my uh, super duper barbecue here on my balcony. If you watched one of my previous videos, um, I said uh, either Tuesday or Wednesday, I was going to bring uh, the MT-09 home. Um, so actually, so that's the plan. I'm doing that tomorrow. And while I got that at home, I will continue on putting some uh, accessories on there. Some of those stuff that I got, um, I've picked it up off of AliExpress and Amazon and places like that, right? Uh, there are many things that I personally myself uh, will uh, install from the aftermarket products. And here's just a small glimpse of, of some of the items that I do install, um, which I thought are so worthy of me sharing with you just due to the fact that the, the, the fit finish and the pricing, guys, it's just completely unbeatable. So yeah. Um, let's kind of go over a, a quick view here so you can see exactly what it is. Uh, first and foremost, I just received this today. So I thought here, I'll uh, give these guys a try. These are side tank panel uh, grippers, right? That uh, go, yeah, on each side of your tank. Uh, it allows not only actually keeps your legs warmer on a cooler day because the tank gets kind of cold, uh, but also protects the paint. And at the same time, um, it allows you to grip. So when you are moving around and stuff like that, and you're kind of leaning a little bit off, um, it just kind of grips against on your pants. L look how flimsy and how uh, easily these things can form against the tank. Like uh, a lot of companies out there, um, I've even some of the stuff that I've played around with, um, the flexibility of it wasn't very good. And so you would apply it on and all the edges would kind of start to lift and stuff like that because it's not conforming against the tank. Whereas these guys are absolutely fantastic. And it's still a 3M tape, right? So that cost 14 bucks, $14. And it's uh, marketed and displayed as MT-09. So guys, holy, holy smokes. I can't wait to get those on tomorrow. That's gonna be one of my biggest things there. Um, like last year, I had my axle sliders. Uh, so that's for the front. And this is for the back. Last year's uh, my MT-09, I went with a black. Uh, this year, I'm just kind of going with a little bit of the hint of the blue, just due to the fact that it kind of finishes off nicely with the bike. Axle sliders, they cost me 54 bucks for the pair. Yeah, do the math. It's absolutely crazy, super awesome. X-Grip, I don't really need to kind of explain what the X-Grip is. It's a, an iPhone and or phone or any mobile device along, as well as your GPS holder. Pretty simple, straightforward. That's from Ram Mounts, right? Throttle lock, or AKA a cruise control. Uh, I always get one of these things every year. They're only like maybe 20 bucks, give or take. Um, they just basically go over your throttle and it allows you to kind of, when you're on the throttle, you set it down with your finger, just and then it rests up against your brake lever, allows you just to take your hand off of the throttle for a couple of minutes, just to kind of stretch and whatnot. Otherwise, you're holding that throttle all day long without the cruise control. This is super cool. Definitely a must. I like that so much. Little dog bones. I don't know if you can see this. Hopefully, you can see this quite well, actually. Here, I'll take it out of the package. So two of these guys here, um, 20 bucks. 20 bucks for the pair. That's a lowering kit for, this works on all your MT-09, FZ-09, FJ-09, Tracer GT um, kits. Depending on what model you're installing it on, it will lower the machine from 15 millimeters to 30 millimeters. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm lowering the bike down just a bit, just a tad, just to kind of make it look cool. Whereas then I'm taking these blocks, these risers, and they're going on the handlebars, which are lifting up my handlebars. So lowering the bike, lifting up the bars, kind of creating that motocross feel. Um, 
I think it's going to be really cool. So I'll definitely get those blocks on there. The blocks itself, the riser bars, were $25. Like, oh my god. Pinstriping for your wheels. This is, they have multiple different colors. This, again, I got this off of uh, Amazon and e and, um, and AliExpress and stuff like that. Uh, it cost like $14, I think it was. Um, let me get, take 16, $16, sorry. Uh, basically, it's a black stripe because my wheels are yellow. The black stripe goes on throughout the day, it stays black. However, once you get the light on it, it's reflective and it pops like super crazy. Two companies I like to deal with in regards to the pinstriping, one is called FX, so Factory FX, and the other one here is just basically a, a non-branded product. Um, unsure as to which ones I use, I use them both actually because I got to some mix matched front and back. Look how genius this product is. As you can clearly see, it's a helmet lock. I just got the bag there, but uh, it mounts up on to the rear footstay of the MT-09. Like, God, why couldn't we think of this from factory? I mean, this is one of the biggest, biggest uh, inquiries and biggest uh, suggestions from so many riders and so many people out there that own these products. Again, this fits on FJ09, MT-09, FZ09, Tracer GT. Um, it comes with a key already, comes with a lock assembly. Super easy to install. That alone, guys, it was $27, $27. Wow, talk about fantastic. Levers, on my previous video, you saw that I did have some levers there before. Um, these again, uh, I just reordered these ones up because they are very, very similar. The styling and look uh, to the Yamaha Graves or the Jill's tooling levers. Yeah, the Jill's tooling levers. Um, I just picked these guys up here and that cost me $40 for the pair. It's a no-brainer, I'm buying that, right? So anyways, let's take a look, make sure my dogs are fine, are good. Tomorrow is definitely looking up to be a much nicer weather here. Ooh, look at this. This is an electric grill. That's awesome. That's charbroil electric grill. Anyways, tomorrow the weather is supposed to be a whole lot nicer, so I will be bringing the bike home as of tomorrow. I got the special motorcycle carrier that goes on the back of my Murano, which then allows the front wheel to lock up onto it. And then from there, it's going to be kind of turned into a trailer trailering at home and showing you how the pivoting and all that functions of this as the same time then it's uh, bringing the bike home still hasn't started i just finished charging the battery today so again that will be another episode where we can both all of all of us actually um, witness the first startup together so anyways until then thank you very much for your subscriptions thank you very much for tuning in if you have any suggestions comments likes and feedbacks let me know i really appreciate all the support until then be safe be good have fun see you guys soon Bye.